Beef. I got my Suge Knight beef shirt on. And Jalen Rose about to be all up in this video because Jalen Rose is beef number 38. So uh, Jalen Rose and I have a unique history. Uh, one of my first big breaks in the journalism industry was getting a job at the Ann Arbor News in the early 1990s, covering the Fab Five basketball team. I was just a young boy, 24, 25 years old. I get a job covering the Fab Five in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Jalen Rose, Chris Weber, Juan Howard, Ray Jackson, Jimmy King. Big break for me. Puts me on the map. Fab Five, a major, major story. And I'm the only person covering it who's close to the same age as the guys on the team, who listens to the same music that the guys on the team do, who would go to the same parties as the guys on the team. It was a awesome break for me. So I meet Jalen Rhodes at 19. He's a sophomore in college. And, you know, covered him uh, his sophomore and junior year at Michigan. Uh, sometimes was critical, sometimes defended him. But I've known Jalen Rose since he was a young kid out of Detroit playing for the Michigan Wolverines. Jalen Rose and I, friendly throughout his NBA career, friendly when he started out, I think, working with Jim Rome on the Jim Rome Show, friendly in his early years at ESPN. Jalen Rose and I had always got along. We, we, me and Jalen share a mutual respect and friendship with Isaiah Thomas, the Detroit Pistons great, one of the greatest NBA players of all time. Jalen Rose and I got along until we didn't get along. And we didn't get along. We stopped getting along about the time the entire sports media world went woke when Colin Kaepernick changed the entire conversation around sports and everybody started leaning into their, I'm blackity black, I'm black, y'all. I'm blackity black, I'm black, 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 black. I'm so black that black thinks I'm black. David Rose went there, started doing little funny things with his hair and dyeing his hair and just, just, Jalen Rose represents the culture, man. He, you know, the whole night, he just stopped evolving and became this caricature that social media would like. And he was there representing for the culture. And so Jalen Rose, that just caused him to start saying dumber and dumber and dumber things. And eventually, when you're one of these athletes and you say dumb things on ESPN or Fox Sports, eventually, I'm gonna call you out and criticize you. So I don't think this is one of the first things, but it's one of the dumbest things that Jalen Rose did. Uh, he did this uh, Mount Rushmore thing. Have you, you guys remember this? When, you know, he, he, he basically called Mount Rushmore racist. Let's watch. And we retire using Mount Rushmore. That should be offensive to all of us especially Native Americans, indigenous people, who were the first people here before Christopher Columbus. That land was stolen for them when it was discovered that it contained gold. And 25 years later, to add insult to injury, four American presidents were put on what we call Mount Rushmore on the top of the dead bodies that is buried right underneath. So I call for you and for myself, I'm owning this too. Let's stop using the term Mount Rushmore when we're talking about our favorite rappers, talking about our favorite movies, we're talking about our favorite players. I know you're gonna see this video and I know you're gonna take action. These guys stay so high, man. They don't know what they're talking about. I mean, they're, they're just so high, they have no idea what's coming out of their mouth. They think they're being interesting. They think they're being profound. They overheard something in a college class they once had to sit through to be eligible. But Lord have mercy. That, that's just one example. There, there have been many other examples 
that actually put me and Jalen Rose at odds and beefing with each other. Uh, I, I can't even remember what sparked this video where Jalen basically told me to keep his name out my mouth or whatever and you know don't play with my name but here's Jalen Rose very upset with me. I'm not gonna say the person's name cause he a clown. But I, but I hear somebody out there bragging about giving me smoke and trolling me since I was 19 years of age. I got a news flash. I ain't 19 no more. Keep playing with my name if you want to. You know who I'm talking to. And I don't bark, I don't pump fake. Keep playing with my name. Try to use my name to launch every new show you you do because you've been a part of so many failing shows. So that's Jalen talking about me. And and it may have been something, because I started pointing out, you know, these I'm blackity black, I'm black, y'all. Jalen Rose at one point probably got caught up in one of my love the fruit, hate the tree memes. And that's probably what set him off there. Because, you know, Jalen was with Molly Karam. Hats off to you, Jalen, because Molly is beautiful. But, again, all, all this blackity, blackity, black, 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 black. But when I go home, it's whitey, 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 white, 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 white. That's love the fruit, hate the tree stuff. And I think that's, I called him out on that. And, and everybody knows I don't have a problem with whoever you fall in love with. But but don't play Malcolm X on social media when Becky Shabazz is at home. Get you a Betty. And so I, that's probably what I called him out on. That's what he's upset about. It, it, it's very unfortunate that we have this view because most of the time I kind of like Jalen. I, I wish he'd lay off the weed. I, I wish he'd lay off the uh, pro-black I'm black to a black to a black. I wish he'd lay off that. But I do like, Jalen Rose has a school, the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy that I donated to. Uh, Jalen Rose, uh, I think his first wife, or he had a, woman, a baby by a woman from Indianapolis whose father was one of my dad's best friends. Uh, yeah, because Jalen Rose played for the Indiana Pacers. And so Jalen Rose, I'm sure it knows the Masterpiece Lounge, 38th and Sherman, because uh, this woman, her father's bar was just around the corner from that. Anyway, Jalen Rose and I shouldn't really be beefing uh, if, if he just wisen up or if he just roll with the punches. But, you know, all this threatening, don't play with my name. I ain't 19 no more. I will get at you. This is what these guys all go to. And, and, it's look, I know I'm not bulletproof, and I know I'm too old and fat and I'm not fighting anybody anymore. And I, I know these idiots are capable of being idiots, but I'm just not going to live a life of fear. Uh, just not going to happen. I'm going to say what I think because I'm free to say what I think. And if you continue to say stupid things, I'm going to call you out on it. If you want to, oh, Mount Rushmore, the Indians are buried here. Let's not use Mount Rushmore anymore. We talk about our favorite rappers or movies or basketball players. That's so gay that Jalen Stock, cut it out, man. Get your balls back. So uh, that's my beef uh, with Jalen Rose.